glow. So the lighting is kind of weird because I have blinds, but also it's winter, so I'm going to sit in the sun, which is honestly very pertinent to this video. <laughs> I'm channeling my, my subject matter right now by sitting in the sun on the floor like a little old goblin. But anywho, I wasn't originally gonna make this a YouTube video, but I'm doing this craft anyway because I'm making it as a gift, well, two of them, gifts for two friends. So I was like, hey, why not make it a video as well? That's how most of these videos actually end up happening. So I have my hot chocolate and we're gonna do some arts and crafts today. Now, I actually did this before. I made one of these long ago, um, before I ever really did YouTube, I think even. Loved how it turned out. It was a little large, so I learned from that. I'm making it a tiny smaller, bit tiny bit smaller so that it fits uh, better, but we're making a little cup cozy supplies list. Grab yourself one of these little cup things, you know, the sleeves that you get uh, anywhere. It doesn't have to be a Starbucks one. It's just, I happen to have them. I haven't been to Starbucks in two years and I just still have some of these. Next, you'll wanna to go to your local craft store or pick up. I'm making a cat themed one, so it's gonna be a little cat face. But what you can put whatever subject matter, you can make it plain. I know they have printed version of these, but this is like felt, just simple felt. It's like usually like maybe 50 cents a sheet. It's so dirt cheap. It's so dirt cheap, but it comes in every color. So if you think of like a different, you know, I'm making cat, you can make a dog, you can make a fish, you could make an aquarium scene that wraps around. That would be cute. Like could, the options are endless. Here's a tip, always keep your scraps. I have literally a bucket of scraps. We'll be using these scraps today. And you'll also need scissors, needle and thread, or, or you could just fabric glue this. You heard me right. You don't even have to sew this if you don't want to. I just sew things because I don't have fabric glue and sewing is like good for my brain. I Googled a picture of a cat. Uh, it's so hard to find a good picture of a cat on the internet basically impossible, but I did it. I realized like the camera lens is over here and I keep looking at the recording dot. Hi, hi over there. Okay, Woo but uh, yeah, let's hop to this and get started. And I am using a bucket lid as a table right now. So yeah, but first gotta peel off those stickers. <sighs> Bring me up, Scotty. This is how into details I'm gonna be getting. So I'll have to make the base, but I'm gonna make little ears with a little inside color, you know, the lighter inside color for the ears, a little pink nose, and then maybe like a, a this way. Oh, they, well, I don't think I'm gonna do whiskers. Do I wanna do whiskers? But we'll, we'll kind of play with it as we go along. But here's the first step. I'm actually gonna tilt you down for this first step so that you can actually see what I'm doing. All my secrets have been revealed. I'm going to take my first piece of felt and because I'm, I'm gonna make two, I'm going to just press it as flat as I can. It was designed to overlap and we're actually gonna be sewing it right there. So if you are fabric gluing this, you'll want to keep it longer. You'll want to keep that tab because you will be overlapping and fabric gluing it there. So line it up. I like to take it like right to the edge because I live on the edge. Oh, why did I say that? Got a good old fashioned Sharpie. I just like to dot the thing instead of drawing it. And then I'm just gonna take it down a little lower. And this time I'm gonna take the points to that bottom edge instead. Then you just wanna go ahead, try to make sure that you keep them, the sides, two sides glued together pretty tightly as you trim it. I'm gonna start at the bottom. Might actually leave this one a little thicker than the other one. And then you just take the side that it was written in in Sharpie and you flip them. They're gonna be slightly different. I kind of like that vibe. I like when they're unique, they're individuals. So now I'm gonna work on cutting out the details for them grab lighter fabric. I'm gonna put a little fold in it so I'm not using up all of it. Let's see, a little triangle kind of shape for their little, in their little forehead. Oh, we need some ears. They need to be pointier. Cute. Okay, so now that I have all the pieces uh, cut out, I'm just gonna focus on sewing one of them at a time first. So I'm gonna set this one aside for now. Focus on this one, and I definitely wish I had fabric glue right now. <laughs> so I wanna focus first on centering them. Okay, I'm gonna pause you while I uh, thread some needle and thread. Okay, I have a needle and thread now. Find the top center. 
You don't want to pull this too tight because not like even no matter how big of a knot you make, it's very easy that it'll just pop through on felt. Just keep those slow, even stitches. Okay, to make a knot, I don't know if you guys know this. If you've already sewn, you know this. And if you're fabric gluing, you don't have to worry about it. But you take it through like this, really close to where the base of the stitch is. Take it through, go ahead. And I like to do it twice, just to be safe. There we go, one part done. Okay, now we got the ears next. Okay, so you kind of get the idea of just slowly sewing it all on. The only thing I'm wondering is the eyes. I want to, because they need their little, the little black center part. I might just sew a little circle each one, but I'm gonna go ahead because I'm losing light and finish this up and then I will show you the ending product. I mean, you can, you'll be able to see the stitches so you'll see how it goes, but I think you get the idea. Okay, let me finish this up. Okay, it is done. The bread maker is a whirring in the background. The sun is setting. We've almost lost lighting, but I've finished it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at, not a thought behind those eyes. See, you just kind of sew it all together or you could fabric glue it together. Now I have kind of a, a chonky cup over here. So we'll see how well it fits on this cup. It's more for like a regular coffee cup. This isn't gonna work. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a regular coffee cup. Don't move. Okay, I have a cup. Did I make it too skinny? Ta-da, look at it. Look at it. Look at it, look at it. Look at its little ears. Oh my gosh. Drinking my coffee, oh my gosh. It turns out so cute. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I probably should have made it a little bit bigger, but like I said, the last one I made was too big. And sometimes it would like slide up past the top of the cup. And this one's kind of like, kind of too small, is it kind of? But the nice part is it does stretch out over time, so that's helpful. But yeah, these are so easy to make and they really, make a really nice like custom gift to give to someone. So I cannot wait to send this to my friend, honestly. And it, they're nice and light, so you can send them in the mail. I'm gonna probably press it like flat like this and just put it in a card, a birthday card, of course, and send it to her. Look at that, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you liked this video and enjoyed this little craft and maybe you'll try it sometime. Honestly, it's, it's a nice way to unwind, decompress, relax. But yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had lots of fun and I hope to see you again soon. Uh, next Sunday, I'm trying to post a video every Sunday at noon. Even though my work schedule did pick up, I think I'm doing a good job at balancing it all. I have to give myself some props here, but, but yeah, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week. I'm gonna go outside and skate now. Bye everybody. <laughs> it's so cute. I guess you can make hand puppets like this too. Cute.